Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Okay, so today's question comes from a house cleaner who wants to know, what is the best way to get pet hair off of furniture? Okay, so that is an excellent question, and there are seven ways to get pet hair off of furniture, and five of them are for professional house cleaners, and two of them are for homeowners. So I'm going to cover all seven of those ways with you. Now, don't worry about taking notes because all the notes are already saved for you in the show notes in the little show more section and links to the things I'm about to tell you are also there. Okay, so the very first thing as a professional house cleaner, you're probably already wearing nitrile gloves. The nitrile gloves are a whole lot like having some kind of rubber or sticky tape or something like that where the pet hair will adhere to them. Now you don't want to use the same nitrile gloves that you just cleaned the bathroom with because if you used chemicals or there was bathroom ickiness on those gloves, you don't want to spread that all over these people's furniture because that would not be cool. Okay, so put on a new pair of nitrile gloves. It will cost you about a dime. Put on a new pair of nitrile gloves and start at the top of the furniture or the cushion and go in the same direction. You don't want to smear it all over. You want to go in one direction. And as you scrape the pet hair off, it will adhere to the gloves and it will come off in a little row or a little line that's just like a glob of pet hair. So once you have a glob of pet hair, item number two is your vacuum. You want to have a vacuum with a hose attachment on it so you can just vacuum up that glob of hair. Or you can just pinch the glob of hair and throw it in the trash. I like to vacuum it because then it's contained and it doesn't float out of the garbage can and back onto the furniture because you're going to have a lot of it. So let's say that there's a whole couch that's full of cat hair. You can wipe it down with your nitrile gloves. The next thing that they have is called a rubber pet hair removal brush. Looks just like a hairbrush, but it is made of rubber and the bristles bend back and forth. Think of the little baster that you use to baste meat with when you're doing a cookout, how it has those little bendy bristles. This is the same kind of an idea. And so when you brush the fur off of the furniture, it comes right off because it adheres to that rubber. And then you have to clean off the brush and again, chunk it in the trash or vacuum it up with the vacuum attachment. So, so far we have the nitro gloves, we have a rubber brush, and we have the vacuum hose attachment. Those are three of the ways. Okay, another way, and this is for pet home, pet owners or homeowners. Both of you can use this and it is an amazing invention. It is called the Chom Chom Pet Remover. And basically what it is, is think of a lint roller that has the, the masking tape on both sides. It's a roller like that, but instead of using tape or batteries or chemicals or anything like that, it's a, it's a felt remover for the pet hair that has a built-in squeegee on it. And then it has a little trash bin built on the other side. So as you roll this along the furniture, the pet removal element of it and the squeegee grab all of the hair and it throws it over into the little trash bin. Then you just open the door of the trash bin, you run it along with your finger, scoop out that little glob of hair and chunk that in the trash. And the chom chom should be inside every house cleaner's cleaning caddy because you just never know when you're going to run into it. And it's a very quick, easy cleanup, just choo 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 choo, and it's done. So that's also great for homeowners, but I really recommend that for professional house cleaners. Now, the other thing that I recommend is just a regular squeegee, like a shower squeegee. And as a professional, you already have a shower squeegee inside your cleaning caddy. And so if you, let's say there's a dining room chair that a cat always sits on, you can squeegee that chair with absolutely no harm to the chair whatsoever. And so that's a very easy way then with the squeegee. If you're a homeowner and you have a squeegee inside your shower, I would recommend you actually buy another squeegee or buy a chom chom so that you can just roll those pet hair off your furniture. And this is also great for like leather furniture and stuff like that. It's just going to clean right up. Now, there are some fine fibers and fabrics that have pet hair embedded in them. Like you can't even vacuum it. You vacuum it, there's still pet hair. And that would be like if you lift up the cushion on your couch 
and there's this fabric where the leather meets the edges of the frame, and that's all covered in cat hair and dog hair, that's gonna be embedded in there. So there are a couple of ways that you can get this out of your furniture fabric. I'm not talking about the leather. I'm talking about the furniture fabric that's underneath the cushions of your couch. And then also, let's say the car floor mats or the car carpet, it's really fine and you get those cat and animal hairs embedded in there and they don't vacuum out. Okay, so this is a tip for homeowners because this is not really very practical for house cleaners to carry these two items with them just for the pet hair. But here's an excellent way to do it. Uh, take a squeegee bottle, just an empty spray bottle and mix it seven parts water to one part fabric softener, okay? So this will make the area smell nice but it will also moisten it just a little bit. Once it's moistened just a little bit, you can take a pumice stone. A pumice stone is, a, you can buy them in a little block. It's a porous stone and they're kind of heavy. And you start again, just like you did with the gloves, start in one position and scrape in the same direction. Don't go back and forth, don't go in a circle. Start at the top and scrape downward. Start at the top, scrape downward. Start at the top, scrape downward. And again, you're gonna create a little thing at the bottom where all of the dog or cat hair collects. And then you can vacuum up that little thing that you've created, it's just a little glob of hair. You can vacuum that up with the vacuum. Now, if you're gonna use the fabric softener and the pumice stone, I have to give you a warning. Whatever you are using it on, leave yourself a one inch frame around the area that you are scraping because you don't want it if it's a, the cushion of a chair, you don't wanna scrape the wooden frame with the pumice stone. The pumice stone is a stone, and so it will scratch whatever hard surface it comes in contact with. So if you're cleaning out the back of your car or you're cleaning the sides of your car carpet, if you knock into the furniture, the, the leather that's the interior of your car, or you hit the sides of the doors or whatever, you will scratch that with the pumice stone. So you wanna leave yourself a one inch frame around the area that you're scraping, and then you wanna use your rubber brush to get that, or your nitrile gloves to go in and to get around those areas in the frame area that you created. I hope that makes sense, because this is also a podcast. I have to go to great lengths to try to explain to you what I'm talking about, <laughs> so you can imagine it in your mind, because you can't see it. Okay, so those are the seven ways. The nitrile gloves, the rubber brush that is designed with the bendy bristles, the squeegee, the fabric softener, and the pumice stone, the chom chom roller, and then your vacuum. Those are your seven ways to remove pet hair from your house, from your car, from your furniture, from your carpets. It works on all of those things. So those would be my suggestions. And once you find the right technique for you, because they all work, so there might be one that you're more probably going to use. It's, it's probably more you. It's probably more convenient to you or it's easier for you to do. Find something that works for you and then stick with that method. And I'll tell you what, your life will be a whole lot easier when you're not then carting the animal fur and hair with you wherever you go. Alrighty, so that's it for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.